Hello, Aggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we have a question from Kirk Anderson, W9KOA, and I assume he's not affiliated with the campground, so um, we go camping at the KOAs a lot. Um, and he's KOA, that's his uh, email address. His name is Kirk. And he says he doesn't have a question and then proceeds to ask a question. Um, he wants to ask me to please talk about etiquette when it comes to tuning one's rig up directly on the top of a frequency in use. Um, he says, I enjoy working parks in the air and it seems that on every spotted frequency, some one or two or three center on it and then decide to tune up. It's not just POTA, but very prevalent on those spots. Um, he says, you have a lot of influence on the people in the hobby through your channel. Please help us improve the experience. Thanks in advance from Kirk, W9KOA. Kirk, you're absolutely right. This has been a problem for many decades. It used to be that if you tuned your radio a few kilohertz off of where it was working before, you needed to tune it again um, before you could transmit and make sure it would work just right. And now what people are tuning are their antennas. And uh, you need to put a little signal out there to tune it. Now, what is etiquette? Okay, etiquette is uh, to tune to some spot in the band where you can't hear anything um, that's nearby what you want to get. Tune your transmitter and then go back to listening so you can just jump in. Now, you're not tuning your transmitter. Usually you're tuning your antenna. So you don't want to be a lot of kilohertz off, but a few off. Now... Uh, this problem of people tuning up on top of a DX station or a contest station or something like this, like I said, it's been around for decades. It is rude to do that. It's just plain rude. And it's selfish because you're getting your station set up and you're stepping all over someone else's contact that they're trying to make with the DX or... POTA or SOTA or whatever kind of station that it is. Don't do it. Tune off frequency. Get well away. Now very often if the DX or station is working splits, the splits are above that frequency. So you want to go just a little bit below to do your tuning if you have to tune your antenna tuner or point your beam or whatever it may be. Okay. And some people, when they repoint their beam, they have to readjust their tuner because they're looking at a different environment. So how do you get around it? There is a feature on all modern radios called an automatic notch. Uh, they are designed specifically for this problem, okay? When you have a steady carrier on a frequency that you're trying to hear and the carrier is obliterating it, turn on the automatic notch. Some people just call it a notch. Um, and let's see what it is on this thing here. Notch, it just says notch, okay, on there. Um, but basically, when you turn that on, the circuitry inside there will go find a constant carrier frequency and block it out. It's called a notch filter. It's a filter, just a very tight filter, just on that one notch. Okay? Now, if you turn that on, there is a problem because if the notch is really loud, it can cause, it can, on older radios, capture the AGC. Uh, the automatic gain control and cause the radio's volume to go down because that signal is so loud. That is a problem on many radios, not all. Um, the new digital notch filters are very good. They can uh, take out multiple notches at, or multiple carriers at a time. But that's the reason the automatic notch is there. 
So if people, you're trying to do DX or POTA or SOTA or a contest of some sort, you just turn on that automatic notch and leave it on. Caution. If you use the automatic notch on Morse code, you've got a problem. Because every dit and da is one carrier on one frequency. And an automatic notch will very happily cut those out too. So if you switch over to CW and you're finding that all the signals are just weird, I turn the notch off <laughs> so you can get your signals back. Now, what do you do in the event that you're trying to get a CW station and people are tuning up on it? Well, um, there are manual notch filters the lot have that if you're looking at the waterfall, you can actually turn back and forth and put it right on that frequency so that that one uh, goes away. And I know it's frustrating as all get out. Uh, modern rigs don't need to be tuned before transmitting. Uh, if you have an external tuner, tune it on another frequency before you go on the air. Or better yet, use a little uh, antenna tuner. I've got a couple over there um, next to the uh, big tube. There's a couple antenna tuners. Use one of those to tune your antenna because then that way you won't be transmitting uh, a signal on the air. So there you have it. Be polite. If you just get too frustrated with something, tune away to go do something else. Take out the trash, do the dishes, fill the dishwasher, whatever, um, till you calm down. But again, on single side bend, that automatic notch will do miracles. And if you're doing it on CW, you can use a manual notch, uh, which your radio will have. You'll have to read the instruction book, how to get that thing on it. You might practice that a bunch beforehand. So there you have it. Until we next meet, 73.